All right, this week we're talking about lumbar flexion and trying to get, uh, well, Lindsay, who's holding the camera, um, to go into lumbar flexion. Now, her range is quite good, which you'll see in a minute, but what I'm going to try to get people to do is when they bend forward is to actually round here. Now, initially, in the first part of the program, when you're rehabbing, you actually don't want to flex because we want to keep that disc from bulging. So whenever she was bending forward, she had to hinge, she had to keep her back flat to pick up things. So every time she moved, her back was staying flat. Now that's good in the initial stage to help settle things down, but now her pain is almost gone and she can move well, we need to make sure she's actually moving at those segments to get rid of the stiffness. If you get rid of the stiffness, your function will improve, those muscles will work better, your core stability will be better, everything will be better. But you still, obviously, when you lift something heavy or when you're loaded, you still keep a neutral spine. So if I'm gonna pick up something heavy, I still need to keep a neutral spine. I don't want to round pick up something heavy, but day-to-day -day movements, I wanna make sure I'm bending properly so I'm functioning properly. And so this is why we have to get rid of some of that stiffness that's been building up in the spine because we haven't allowed her to go into flexion. Okay, so what we're gonna get you doing is we're gonna have a look at her bending rolling forward, making sure she's actually bending here, and we're gonna go through some exercises that improve that movement. Word of caution, when you're doing flexion this week, so one-legged flexion, then moving into two-legged flexion, then moving to a roll down, you've gotta make sure you're doing reversals, we're either lying on your front doing McKenzie extension or going back and doing standing extension. So let's see what Lindsay can do. All right, so Lindsay, you go over here. So if we look at her flexion, so you're looking at this curve here. Here's the normal neutral curve. If you come this way a little bit, Lindsay. I want her to roll forward, so I want her going into flexion and making sure she rounds out here. So what we're looking for is, is she rounding through here? And she's not doing too bad. You can see there's a tiny little flat bit there, which will get better in time, come up again. And then when she comes up, is she rolling through here or is she extending? And that's pretty good. So her flexion movement will improve um, when she does more and more of these exercises. So let's go into one leg flexion. So put one leg up on the bed there for me. So what I want you to do, Lindsay, is just slowly roll forward and flexion. Now, with this one, she's allowing herself to go into flexion, which is what we want. She's opening up, stretching that out, but she's keeping one leg on the floor. Come back up again. And what that means is she's got half the load in the spine. So this is a nice way to start. Go again. She's got to segmentally roll and try and really curve and open up through here okay and then come back and when she tilts back she comes back into this position she goes down she's got to think about curving her spine all the way down and like opening this up as long as that doesn't hurt and obviously that's one leg up and then she'll do sort of five that way and then she'll swap legs and it might be harder on the leg or on the side that she's got the disc problem so that was her right side let's see what this is like when she rolls forward and going forward. Does that feel any different, Lindsay? This side's easier. This side's easier. Now, her problem was on the right-hand side, so that's her left leg up. So her, her, this is easier because she is opening up the left-hand side into here, so she's doing left-hand side flexion, whereas the right side was tighter, and that's what she's going to work on. So go back to the other side. She's just going to make sure that this doesn't make her worse. Okay, we've got to be very careful this doesn't make it worse. So when she rolls forward, she's trying to open up through here. And like I said, keeping that one leg straight is a very safe point to start. So once she's got better range that it feels even left and right, she can then do a double leg on her back. So if you go into your back, Lindsay. So this one here is now going, she's going to go into lumbar flexion. So at this point here, we want this actually going from a curve to flexion, all right, which is a no-no when you've got the initial disc problem, okay? The first few X we do, we will not want this happening. We want to do McKenzie extension, but she wants to actually pelvic tilt and roll, open up the soft tissues in the back, open up the disc, the ligaments, because now the disc is to the point where it's healed enough that it can tolerate this sort of movement, and you're doing this to get proper movement into flexion for day-to-day -day life, which we need, it's unloaded, so she's not doing loads of safe, 
but because she's weeks and weeks and weeks down the track in the program, she's got enough integrity in that disc for this to do this. Remember, this is not for pain relief, this is to try and improve range and get better function. And she needs to follow this up for safety to do extensions. So she'd go straight on her front, go through extensions to reverse that. Okay, so make sure that happens. So once she's got that sort of range, then she has a look at her, her roll down. So the weeks following, she'll go into a roll down, which we'll show you now. So if you go into a roll down now, four minutes, you know, she actually finds this the hardest because this is about segmental control. It's not just about the range. She's got to teach her brain to actually roll. And this is very much a Pilates type move, but very important for flexion. So as she peels off the floor, she's got to peel off the edge. She's got to try and flatten her lower back into flexion there. There it is, see that? And then she peels off the wall and rolls down and reaches her toes, which stretches everything through here, which is great. Of course, you don't want to be doing this with neural pain. Now, when she comes back up, she's got to get her lower back on the wall first and segmentally put each little vertebrae on the wall all the way up and then shoulders and then finally head. Now did that hurt Lindsay? Mm -mm. That was okay. So then she goes again. Now when she thinks she's got to come off the wall she's got to push that spine into flexion as she rolled. Now this is yes this is loaded but only her body weight so we're not putting any weights in her hands and clearly this is not the position you would do deadlifts in right you don't do deadlifts like this um, but we do do this to get this roll to get a segmental roll help the multifidus work on extending the spine beautifully so when she picks up things that stuff she's got some good movement she's got some control movement of course whenever she gets loaded she will go into a deadlift position where she keeps her spine neutral. So just show me that, Lindsay. So if she went and then picked up something heavy, again, she'll keep a straight back here, hinge of the hips. That's how you lift when you've got load. But when you don't have load, you can roll down, and the wall is the best one to do it. Okay, so get to the wall again, and she will roll, head off, rolling forward again. You've got to be pain-free in your back and your leg before you start doing this exercise. And this helps with all your flexibility as well. And then when she comes up, she's got to think pelvic tilt, push that spine back into the wall all the way up until she gets to the top. And there's a flexion complete. Okay.